Hi guys! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and in today's video, we are finally going to do my Disneyland trip haul. We are currently in the middle of April and obviously I've been back from my trip for quite a while. However, I haven't done this video mainly because I've been procrastinating. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna begin by showing you the items that you can get from inside the park for free. First off, we have the Disneyland guide map. If you are one of those people who like to collect maps and you keep them as souvenirs, this is one great thing to pick up as soon as you enter the park. So I don't know how often they change the design on the map, but I've never gone to Disneyland um, in different years and they have the same design on the map so i've never had a double of this because you know we go different years oh although i do not know i'm not sure if during the course of the year they change the design according to the according to the season you might want to ask people who are annual pass holders because they get the chance to go back in the park uh, at different times of the year. So that's the first souvenir that you can get for free. Next, they have the buttons. So as far as I know, they have two types of buttons, but I'm not sure if they have more than the two that I've seen. They have the birthday button and they have the celebration button. And both of those I've already gotten. Now this time, during our visit my friend and i actually decided to go back to the park mainly because we both uh recently turned 50 and as part of our celebration we decided to treat ourselves for this or to this trip so when we went in there we made sure that we are going to get one of the souvenir buttons we actually plan to get both the happy birthday or the birthday button and the one that says i'm celebrating but we forgot to ask for the celebration button so we only got the birthday one so this one we requested inside the emporium because way back um about 20 years no not 20 years is it 20 years no just 10 years ago when i was first when i was new in visiting the parks i thought you can only request for the souvenir buttons at the city hall so i would tell the people who are planning to go there that as soon as you go in the park instead of going to the right side you go through the left go under the bridge and once you pass the bridge you will see city hall apparently that is wrong because you can request for the souvenir buttons um, in the restaurants or in our case we've gotten ours from the emporium and the emporium is one of the souvenir shops inside disney so this is how mine looks like it just says happy birthday jazz and the lady even drew mickey ears balloons on there and then she wrote the number 50 that's very cute so these buttons are for free next this is not really free because we did or i paid for the popcorn i'm not a plain popcorn person but i wanted to get the popcorn bucket that comes with it and of course i kept the carton of the popcorn so this is the design of a popcorn carton for the Disney 100 Years of Wonder celebration. This is an acrylic one that I have gotten when I purchased one of the blind boxes. It's called the Disney Rewind and I got that from one of the outlets near my home. I just put this on top of this so that I can have this whole thing on my Disney 100 display. Very cute. So if you get a popcorn this is how the carton would look like speaking of the popcorn the bucket that comes with my popcorn is the mickey ears bucket i've already have this i already have this one in blue but this is the version that they have for the celebration of the disney 100 years of wonder this is the opening at the back it's a 
very spacious bucket for your popcorn however i don't think anyone uses this for the popcorn you would always you know you keep it as a souvenir so you would always get the popcorn on the side so that's how it looks like at the front and it does come with a lanyard that says disney 100 years of wonder it is very beautiful although i think it's very delicate you know you have to be very careful not to drop it because it might break and um in my case i thought of keeping that for or as one of my souvenirs however when i found the where is he or right, the zipper the mickey mouse zipper i'm gonna show it to you in a while i decided to sell or resell the popcorn bucket i haven't used it and i would also sell or resell the disney 100 years of wonder thermo tumblers i have purchased two of these oops this is how it looks like got a straw purple almost purple all over with white but the difference uh, between the mickey ears disney 100 years of wonder souvenir and the thermal tumbler is that the lanyard has uh mickey's and minis mini mouse's um head printed heads or faces printed on it and on the tumbler itself you have mickey you have minnie and the other characters such as chip and dale we have donald duck we have tinkerbell goofy uh daisy duck and my favorite dog pluto so i got two of these neither of neither one of them is mine because i'm going to resell this the other one is still in the plastic i just took took the first one out of the bag so that you guys can see how it looks like that's the bottom part and i believe this one is priced at close to 20 dollars now speaking of the other souvenir item that i would that i decided to keep instead of the mickey ears popcorn bucket it's the mickey mouse zipper look how beautiful he is made that's the front that is the back look at his tail you guys that's the bottom and it also has the same lanyard with the mini and mickey's face or heads printed on it i just tied it that way does it go loose this is how you open this one i'm not gonna open it in front of you because i don't want to twist his head but you see the cut right here that's how you open it and then if you pull this thing up there's your straw this is a zipper we got this from pizza planet where we decided to have our main lunch so that's that and this one is kind of pricey i think it retails for about 38 dollars so it is the most expensive um of the one two three of the four items that i got but the other items i'm going to resell this one i'm gonna keep to be displayed on my shelf next up uh when we went to the emporium i saw this 100 piece puzzle and it has mickey and of course pluto and i just had to get it so i might not be able to put this thing together until summer summertime but i would put it together and i'm hoping to be able to frame the finished or the assembled product that's the back that's the side so it just says how many pieces there are there's pluto at the back and this one retails at 24 dollars and 99 cents this is mine you guys i'm not going to sell that next item that i have um my friend has gotten luna luna's my dog if you don't know a dale Nuimo. so because he's by himself i decided to also get chip that way he doesn't get sad or lonely look at their backs so uh chip is darker than dale if you guys notice and chip has a black nose and dale has the red nose and look at their very cute tiny 
tails at their backs. So, Inuimo is priced at $19.99. So, that is that. But my favorite Nuimo that I um, intentionally looked for on this trip is Pluto. And Pluto has traveled with us in the entire park because I placed him or I secured him on my backpack during that day. However, when we were inside the park, I did not let him wear this R2-D2 uh, Nuimo outfit. So, Nuimos can be bought with or without an outfit so this is where the um r2d2 outfit was an outfit like this one is priced at 12.99 but i believe i got discounts for both of the outfit that i bought the other set of uh, clothing that i got this was the original outfit that I wanted Pluto to wear. However, I realized it's like both yellow or gold in color and there's not much of a contrast. So I think R2-D2 would best fit him. And this one, I will let Mickey Mouse Nuimo wear this one. This one says also, it also says $12.99, but I know that I was given a certain amount of discount when I purchased this items at world of disney at downtown disney next item that i was looking for this one i've been looking for since my trip last year with my partner t-shirt but i did not know where to find him apparently you can buy this guy from one of the shops right outside this uh, disneyland in the downtown disney area just before you get inside the Park. And this is Dock Under. We also were able to get inside Dock Under's Den of Antiquities last year. I think it was closed when we went there because the door wasn't uh, open or it wasn't opening when we passed by. This time we went in there, I got to see him in person and I did a little clip or I, you know, of him, a little, a short video of him, which I'm going to show hopefully Hopefully, I'm going to be able to show that in the Disneyland trip video. So, this is Doc Ondor. You can take the hoodie off, put it on. That's his outfit. That's the back. And look at his feet. Big feet for this guy. All right. He is, or he was, sitting on um, my Mickey ears popcorn bucket on my display before i started filming this video and after this i'm gonna put him back on there until such time that i'm able to sell the mickey ears popcorn bucket next items we have a set of earrings this came well this is priced at 19.99 which is reasonable because this came in three pairs the third pair i gifted to one of my younger friends in school because originally i just wanted the popcorn pair of earrings and then i got to like the doll whip too so we got a couple of earrings and then i've got two pins from world of disney the first being the slinky dog i think this one is priced at 11 99 or something i forgot it's not at the back and then the next pin that i have is of course Pluto. How cute is my dear favorite dog? That's Pluto. Next up, what did I forget? All right, I have gotten me a pair of Mickey ears, and it's not the Snow White uh, Mickey ears that I was telling you about in one of my videos because the Mickey ears that is made for the 85th year of the 85th year of celebration for Snow White snow white's face is frowning and i don't want to get that so i ended up getting this princess leah uh, headband or mickey ears the back looks like it's quilted it has the star wars tag on the side star wars tag here and also here i i don't know if you guys could see that and then if you look closely at the front of the mickey ears those are princess leah's um, shape of her head so that is that normally the ears are priced at 30 something dollars i forgot this doesn't have its 
price anymore so maybe that's the price i'm not sure but you might want to check the website all right clothing pieces finally able to get one of the hoodies that i have been looking for this is in celebration of the disney 100 years of wonder you guys on picture it doesn't look very uh you know very beautifully made but in person these are all embroidered very very great quality i'm just worried about this side you know where the disneyland um name is puff, uh, puffed out um i should be careful when i wash this probably not very hot because this might melt or you know disappear that's the front he is also embroidered we have the front pockets i have it on hanger because i don't iron anymore and then the last piece of clothing i only have two i was not able to get the bomber jacket that was I would, that i was telling you about when i was doing the packing um the black bomber jacket they're out of stock during the entire trip so that was sad but i got oswald the lucky rabbit that's the front of the shirt and that is the back i believe this one is only priced around 29 something dollars all right moving on we have a few items inside the bag i've been wanting to get me a i know most of the time or most of the places now we're no longer required to wear a mask but i've been wanting to get an adult face mask for myself for the for a very long time so i got me one what's the price of this and this one is in the large size there's no price i think it's in the receipt and i don't remember next i got my husband a tin of mints he likes mints it's already empty because it only took him a few days to eat all the mints so that's the container that's the back part nothing too crazy it's just that the front has the the disney 100 celebration uh print on it this is the lanyard for the other thermo tumbler and then is that the last one i have a couple of ball pens the first is donald duck it's still close i haven't used it i was thinking of giving this to one of my friends but i changed my mind i'm keeping it and then we have forky forky ball pen it's still not open so these are for my collection and i think that's about it for the haul last but not least this is the i got this i got this i finally gave in and got this one the disney eras one of the items from the disney eras collection and this is the mickey mouse phone holder now that's how it looks like it's already outside the box let me put it right here and you guys all right the the oscar goes to look at that it looks like an oscars award very beautifully made it is heavy so it's sitting on the shelf and this is where i put my phone sometimes all right the award goes to mickey mouse he is smiling i like I like things that are smiling I don't like anything that's frowning on my shelf so I got this one very useful very sturdy you won't regret it it is from the Disney Eras collection it says on there Walt Disney Studios Hollywood the bottom looks like that all right you guys I hope you enjoyed watching this Disneyland trip haul there are items that i could not show you because i've already given them away as soon as i came back like keychains for my team uh the mickey ears lollipop i've given them away i got a bouquet of those and then what else uh i got my nephew one of those crystals it's still in in its wrapper but i'm not going to show you that because i have to ship that to him 
and then what else did I forget um oh I got the Aristocats uh, ears for two of the wonderful girls um, at my school they are my friend's daughter so i've already given those away i will not be able to show them to you guys but i hope you enjoyed watching this video and hopefully we get to finish editing the entire trip video so that one of these days you will be able to watch them and see what went on during our trip to disneyland this year in april of 2023 i will see you all in my next video thank you all for watching bye